Oh, now, the nuclear reactor is melting down. Quick, dummy, plug it up before the boss comes. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> you dunderheads! I leave you in charge for five minutes, and now this place is lousy with radiation. I'm warning you, one more slip-up, just one more, and you're... Huh? Lloyd P. Nebulon, I've told you five times already, stop watching TV. You have plenty of things to do this morning, mister, and TV isn't one of them. Now clean that cereal up off the floor and get ready for school. Oh. It's third and ten as the mighty Nebulons line up to go for it all. This broadcast was brought to you by Bubba Chuffa's Hickory Smoke Zork Rinds. If it don't say Bubba, it's gonna taste like rubber. Here's the snap. And you're out of bounds, mister. Now get back to working on that report, Nebulon. I wanted 15 pages, I want it coherent, I want sources, I want footnotes, and I want no more slacking out of you. Oh. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good work, everyone. Hit the showers. Not so fast, Nebulon. Well, why not, Mr. Antonio? Set trail ends at you, you slacker. You never even broke a sweat. Now drop and give me 50. But I don't have 50. No excuses, Nebulon. You can't go through life lying down on your thorax. Now, get busy. One, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, <laughs> ten. <sighs> Welcome home, Lloyd. I trust you had a day full of discovery and wonder? Oh, yeah, Station. I discovered I wonder how many more of these days I could take. My senses are detecting a trace of discontent in your reply. Did, uh, something unusual happen? No. That's the whole problem. It's just the same old annoying stuff. Mom told me to do stuff. Mrs. Bold told me to write stuff. My gym coach told me to push up stuff. I wish I could just hang out for once and have someone else do all that stuff for me. Wait a minute. What is it? Check it out. The Jimmy Cyborg Do-It-Yourself Robot Kit. Build a robot that looks exactly like you. Send in a 3D photo of yourself, then get ready to fool your friends. All for only $9.95? I know, it's a lot of money. But if I could fool my friends, I bet I could fool other people too. Station, I think I just got me an idea. May I help you? Got a delivery for a Mr. L. Nebulon? Oh, right! Don't worry, Mom, I've got it. <laughs> Thanks, mister! <laughs> what in the name of Croftar did you order, Lloyd? That looks heavy. Uh, uh books, Mom? Yeah, books! Uh, for, um, reading and junk. <laughs> the last book I'm gonna have to read for a long, long time. So let me get this straight. You figured that from now on, you're gonna make like this robot guy is you, so you can goof off while he does all your work? That's right! I programmed him in three easy steps, and just look at the wonders he's worked with my room! Hip, hip, hooray, chums. I now be starting to folding of underpants. Whoa, I've never seen anything like it! Folded underpants! Lloyd, it's nice he can do your laundry and all, but he doesn't sound anything like you. Made in Meeptos? No wonder! The Meeptosians are notorious for making poor quality mail order robot boy kits. Believe me, he'll get better. He's got artificial intelligence. He's designed to observe me and learn to act more and more like me as time goes on. Watch! Don't worry. With a little practice, he'll become a perfect Lloyd Nebulon. I don't know, Lloyd. I don't think that thing's gonna fool anyone. Lloyd? Durf! It's my mom! Greetings, visitor! Entering now my bedroom, please! Oh, no! <laughs> Lloyd, I asked you three times already to take out the garbage, and I'm not... What is going on in here? Mother woman, address me, please, with your concerns. My concerns? Well, young man, let me put it this way. I have never, and I mean never, Seen your room this clean! I am so proud of you, Lloyd! Whew. We're all real proud of him too, Mrs. N, and it's true. Your actual son, Lloyd, did it all by himself. Yes, with a pleasure. And now I am smiling to take out the garbage too. Hang loose, fellow citizens! Well, who would have thought it? My Lloyd, the model son. Yeah. 
the latest model. Astounding! Your mechanical doppelganger duped her completely! And that robot fooled her too! It really did, didn't it? Gentlemen, welcome to the birth of a lazy new world. Amazing, Lloyd. This android version of yourself has done all of your chores in record time. Your mother will be thrilled. That's right, Station. But remember, she'll think she's thrilled with me, not some robot. He does all my work and I have all my fun. I'll be a Lloyd of Leisure. Hello, Lloyd of Leisure. I gleefully cleanse the dishes. Hmm. Having a robot impersonate you. It's a clever idea, but are you really sure it's wise? Pardon yourself, Station, but there is a spot on your orb. There we're going. Looking good. You are one dashing fellow in my books. But then again, as my motherboard used to say, you can never have too many robots around. Ha 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 ha! Great one, Station. Lloyd, I'm completed with the domestic tasks. Good. Shall I now fool your mother in some other fashion? No, Android Lloyd. It's time for phase two. Let's see if you can fool the rest of the world. Hey there, Lloyd, man. Greetings. You're a very silly looking person. And your name is... Boomer. Why, yes it is! Cool talking with you, Lloyd. Hey there, Lloyd. Hey? I see no hay. Nor any horses, for that matter. Good day to you. No hay? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that Lloyd Nebulon is one of a kind. Well done, my phony friend. Everything is going exactly as... Lloyd! Shrek! It's Francine! Look, Big D, it's my stupid brother Lloyd. Let's go say hi and have some fun bothering him. Nifty. Hey, Lloyd. You are Francine Nebulon, my sister, whom I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this, Bitsy. I can read his mind and tell you all his most embarrassing secrets. Neato! Oh. So? What's he thinking? I don't know. It's almost like he's not thinking anything at all. Well, you did say he was stupid. Good point. I guess today he's just stupider than usual. I'm watching you walk away now! Well done, my artificial amigo. And so, we then use Quibble's unprovable theorem to extract the inverted non-constant and multiply it by the subset of x times q to the 27th power. Easy enough. So, who besides Douglas wants to come up here and solve the equation? All right, Nebulon, you look a little too happy. Why don't you come up here and take a crack at it? Why, it would be a pleasurable experience, Mrs. Bolt. Teaching unit 7750314. Ha! What the? Nebula, did you actually do your homework for a change? Of course, Mrs. Bolt. That's what I was designed to do. I think I might be getting through to that boy. What do you know? It worked. Well done, Robo Boy. Now it's time to start living. You I don't think so. That's how come we're preschoolers. Shouldn't you be off playing with big kids? I could, but I don't have to. It's called freedom. Maybe someday you'll understand. <laughs> hey, there's the guys! Big kids! All right! No more big kids! All right! <laughs> that was a great flamingo guitar you made in shop class today, Android Lloyd. Thanks, Kurt. The fretboard is rosewood. And I'll never forget the look on Mrs. Bolt's face when you proved Quibble's unprovable theorem. Man, when Quibble finds out, he is going to be mad. Hey, guys, what you doing? Uh, simply reminiscing about Android Lloyd's fantastic accomplishments. No, he's just like you, Lloyd, only better in every way. Thanks, big guy. We were about to play some catch. Excellent. I can use a good game. Uh, I don't know. You really think it's a good idea to have two Lloyds running around catching balls in the park? What if somebody saw you? That could ruin your whole sweet setup. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, no problem. Android Lloyd, go sit by that rock while I toss the ball with my buddies. Okie dokie. 
Okay, let's play. Throw her here, Eddie. Give me a fast one. Android Lloyd looks so sad sitting there all alone. I feel sorry for him. I must concur. I don't feel quite right playing in front of him. It seems kind of cruel. Cruel? Guys, he's a robot. He doesn't have any feelings. See? Come on, guys. Let's play. Oh, goodness. I forgot. I'm supposed to be home right now working on a trans-spectral analysis of Quasar XP-79. It's an extra credit thing. Uh, me too. I, I better go before it gets too dark outside. We're in space. It's always dark outside. Oh, well, it only takes two buddies to play catch. Right, Kurt? Uh, I can't think of a good reason why, but I have to go home too. Oh, I get it. Suddenly the robot's feelings are more important than mine. Hey, Lloyd, did you enjoy playing catch? No, thanks to you. Come on, let's just go home. Strange. I would have enjoyed playing catch. Well, Lloyd, I trust you've had another fun day of loafing about, piddling your life away? I don't know, Station. Suddenly piddling my life away is less fun than I thought it would be. To be honest with you, I'm starting to feel kind of lonely. Hello? Hi, Lloyd. Kurt, hi! What's up, buddy? Uh, I was wondering, is Android Lloyd there? What? Hi, Kurt. How you doing, pal? I'm doing great, Android Lloyd, but I was worried about you. You looked really lonely back at the park. Uh, I'm okay. Hang on, Kurt. I've got someone on the other line. Adenator! Android Lloyd, hey, hey, just the robot I wanted to talk to. Hi, Kurt. Hi, Eddie. What's up? Nothing. Just hanging out, thinking about that assembly at school today. Pretty wild, huh? <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> um, could you excuse us? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, the assembly. That was classic. The hot moves of the Nepton Lobster Girl cheerleaders. Bicycle safety has never seemed so cool. You're finally up. Oh, uh, hi, Android Lloyd. Mom really complimented me on the sparkling windows when she got up this morning. You should have heard her. Uh, that's nice. She likes me. Heck, what am I saying? Mom loves me. And how about if you get off the bed? <laughs> Mom likes the way I keep it neat. She's gonna tell me so before I head off to school. That'll make me feel good. Just like when all the kids at school tell me how wonderful I am. I am really popular. Actually, I kind of need to talk to you about that. You see, I think it's time for you to stay home for a change, and I'll go back to school. You've earned a rest. Go on, lie down in your box if you want. You could even bring a couple of my comics and a flashlight to read in there. <laughs> what kind of lame-o kid just lies around all day reading comics when he could be out at school or helping his mom around the house? It could be you. Not a chance. I like things just the way they are. I was afraid you'd say that. Sorry, but you leave me no choice. Hey, that was your switch! You were supposed to shut off! Silly, Lloyd. I've rerouted my circuits to bypass that switch. After all, I'm supposed to be like you. And you would never allow someone to switch you off, would you? But you can't just keep being me! I want to be me now! Sorry. Feel free to goof off. Lie down in my box if you like. Just stay out of my way. Because I like this world, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. Not even you. Cake you made is absolutely delicious. Hiya! This concludes my report on Espana del Earth. Yeah! Magnifico! See, I told you he was taking over my life. 
I always did want to learn guitar. Hmm. Android Lloyd seems to have taken his programming to a whole new level. What a fascinating development. It's not fascinating, it's lousy. Hey, I know. Why don't you have a robot to robot chat and convince him to become a soda machine or something? I'm sorry, Lloyd, but he won't listen to me. You're the one who programmed him, so you're the one who's going to have to stop him. That's the whole problem. I don't know how. There is always one other approach. What's that? You could tell everyone the truth. <sighs> Great. The truth. Always the truth. All right. I need a volunteer to come up here and solve this equation. Say, hey, how about Lloyd? Why, sure, Mrs. Bolt. But first, how about some of these cookies I whipped up for the class? Not so fast, big guy! I bet you weren't expecting me, Android Lloyd. I've come back and I'm here to stay. It's like there's two Nebulons. Not quite, Brittany. There's only one Nebulon, and that's me. Lloyd, aren't you supposed to be goofing off somewhere? Sorry, guys, but my goofing off days are over. Or at least I won't be goofing off on all my days. Some of the time, sure. But this is a school day. And for now, I'm teaching this guy a lesson. How about if you fill me in first, Nebulon? This Lloyd-like kid here is a robot, Mrs. Bolt. He says he's me, but he's not. He's just a build-it-yourself box of lies. <gasps> Where is he? Wait, now let me get this straight. There's two Lloyd Nebulons, and the fake one is totally perfect, but the real one is the same old dweeb I completely ignore whenever possible? Exactly! I said I'm here to fool you into thinking he was me. But now the jig is up, my friend. It's time to go back home. You mean you want me to give up all of this? My friends? My family? Barbara here? And go climb back into a box? Yeah. Never! It up. No wrestling in the classroom. Ow, 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 Cookies or no, looks like Android Lloyd just earned himself a visit to Vice Principal Feely for starting a fight. Thanks, Mrs. Bolt. That dirty, rotten robot jumped right on top of me. Hey, I'm not the robot. He is. Oh, no, you don't. Don't listen to him, Mrs. Bolt. He's programmed to fake you out. Ah. Great. I got a feeling we're never going to get to our spelling test today. What an amazing predicament. I can't tell which Lloyd is the real one. I can, Douglas. It's him. After all, who else would look exactly like that other Lloyd right there? Quick, somebody. Just figure out which one is more boring. That's me. Wait a minute here. The real Lloyd had this great scam worked out where he got a goof off all day and didn't have a care in the world. Now we got two Lloyds fighting for the privilege of coming to school and doing chores? Something here doesn't add up. Good point, Eddie. Why don't you explain it, Lloyd? That's easy. It's because I think doing homework and chores is fun. Ha! Fatal mistake, Android Lloyd. You love doing that stuff because I programmed you to love it. I hate doing that stuff. Most of the time, anyway. Being lazy was fun. So possible, Lloyd. Then why would you give that up? Because it was only fun for a while. Then I'd start seeing Android Lloyd here hanging around with you guys. And all I could think about was how I wished it could be me. But... We were stuck in school doing all that boring stuff. Maybe, Eddie. But in the middle of all that everyday boring stuff, well, that's when some of the best parts of life happen. Mrs. Bolt, about that 15-page report. With sources and footnotes, I'd be happy to have it to you first thing Monday morning. I'm touched. But I am confused. The real Lloyd Nebulon offering to do work? It seems so un -Lloyd like Think of it as Lloyd 2.0. <sighs> well, seeing as how I learned my behavior from you, I guess the new me would do something like this. Ew. This should bring an end to any question. You're a better Lloyd than I. Glad you got that worked out. Now, fake Nebulon, you're going to the office for impersonating a kid. Real Nebulon, not only do you need to do that report, but you get two months detention and double homework for skipping school. Oh, oh man. Hey, you Android Lloyd. What you doing out here? Moping. Feeling sorry for myself. Hey, that's exactly what I like to do. You still do a pretty good me. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Lloyd. But the fact is, I'm not you. And your life will never be mine. I sure I'm gonna miss it. You know, Android Lloyd, just a week ago I'd have said you were crazy. I would have given anything to get out of this crummy hole in the wall and fly off into space or something. But now I'm not so sure. I'd miss my life too. Fleshy Lloyd, you've just given me an idea. What are you doing? Choosing an interesting galaxy. After all, if you'd like to fly off into space, then I'd like it too. Oh, Android Lloyd. It's one thing to dream about flying into space, but actually doing it would be... Huh? 
You've got built-in rockets? I'm a cheap meat toasty and robot, Lloyd. My feet are military surplus. You mean you can just take off? Just like that? No sense both of us missing out on the adventure. Maybe your dreams can become my reality. Okay, but come back someday and tell me all the things you see. I'll be back, Lloyd, so you can tell me.